Hey, what's going on guys? Figured I'd do another uh, mod review video. Um, gonna do my most requested question that I get on the car. Uh, people are always asking me about these, you know, what the specs are, how they fit, you know, all that, all the um, requirements to get these wheels to fit. Um, so I guess I'll talk about the wheels, kind of give a review, what I think of them the specs and everything about it so if anybody does have any questions I can kind of just direct them to this video um, you know they can see different angles and and the wheels themselves and how they look in the car and the fitment and all that um, so I figured I'd make this video just for anybody that's interested um, so as you can see I have the NK and key however, however you want to say it RS05 or RS05RRs that's what it is pretty long name um, but you know it is what it is uh, they are a gunmetal color um, it's more I wouldn't say it's flat or a matte finish it's more of like a, a satin kind of finish it has some gloss to it um, these wheels are actually very hard to capture on video or pictures they don't really show uh, the concavity um, or the actual the look of them in person they look way better in person than they actually do uh, in any video or picture that I've ever taken um, so I'll try to get as many angles for you guys to kind of see uh, just just kind of how they look and try to try to show you guys kind of what it looks like in person as opposed to you know they look kind of weird in pictures they just look flat and they just have a lot more character in, per in person the specs are 18 by 9.5 plus 35, uh, which I think is probably the best spec for this car uh, in terms of um, actual fitment, um, or the offset I should say. Uh, plus 38 is actually really good as well, but I think plus 35 kind of gives it a little bit more uh, width to the car. Uh, I just think it looks the best. Um, I am lowered. On, on coilovers, Fortune Auto coilovers, not that it really matters, but um, it's a pretty pretty tight one, one finger gap. Um, the front, I mean, it, it's not really on a level surface, so it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, the rears are a little bit more tight. And you can actually hardly get a finger in there. Um, I am running around negative three camber all around. Uh, <clears throat> so it fits. I do have my rear fenders rolled as well, which is also a question that I always get. Um, I did have some pretty serious rubbing before I got the fenders rolled. I was actually a little bit higher too. So if you are planning to go as low as me, uh, which is about a finger gap, I don't know the exact inches or measurement right now. Um, I don't think I ever really took a measurement, but um, it's about a one finger gap all around. Uh, so if you're looking to go as low as me, you're definitely going to have to get your fingers rolled, or sorry, your fenders rolled, not your fingers, that would hurt. Um, and uh, <clears throat> also run around negative three camber. The front you could probably run a little less, but I didn't want to run less camber on the front than it was in the rear, so I kind of made it even, just to kind of um, balance things out. Because technically you want less camber in the rear and more camber in the front for a track. Uh, you know, if you're tracking the car for a little bit more better handling, uh, that's usually the way to go. Um, but I, the, the rears are fixed. I can't adjust the camber. I can't get uh, camber arms to adjust that, but I, I think they're like 0 .2, 0 0.2 degrees off from the driver's side to the passenger side and the rear, so I wasn't even gonna bother with it. Um, you know, if I do someday, uh, I'll probably knock it down a little bit, maybe negative uh, 2.5. Um, but even so, the car drives really well, so I'm not really messing with it. Um, if it was really off, you know, if I was running, it, it ended up being like negative one in the rear, negative 2.8 in the on the other side, uh, then I would get the camera arms to adjust it. But it's pretty close, so I'm not really gonna mess with it. Uh, the fronts, I think I said I had negative three. So it's it's pretty or it's yeah it's it's up there it's about negative three it's, I think it's like negative two point eight or two point nine um, so it's pretty pretty cambered I guess for a daily driver you know it's not crazy like your drift car or anything like that but um, I think it looks good I like I like camber on cars I think it looks 
it looks right. Um, I'm also running, for tires, I'm running a uh, Michelin AS3 Pluses, which is the all season, uh, which is my favorite all season tire, which I'll probably talk about in another video, but um, the size is 265, 35, 18. Um, you can probably get away with a 255 and not have to have to roll your fenders, but I'm afraid they would look a little too too skinny on the wheel. Uh, you know, tires, they're, it's hard to, hard to, um, you know, recommend a tire because every tire is different. The Michelins run uh, a little bit more bubbly than other tires, so 265 on another tire would be, uh, it'd be completely different. You know, something that has a little bit softer sidewall, it would stretch a little bit more. Uh, Michelins tend to uh, run a little bit more, um, more of a bubbly sidewall. For lack of better words um, so the 265 on on this wheel or a plus a nine and a half plus 35 uh, i think is perfect you know it doesn't it gives some lip protection and um, i just think it looks good i'm more of a fan i'm i'm a bigger fan of meteor setups i don't like stretch tires i mean i appreciate them but that's just not for me uh, i like I, I drive this car every day it's a daily driver so i'm not looking to uh do anything crazy in terms of fitment um, I'm really happy with these. They've been holding up really well. This is actually the longest set of wheels I've ever had. Um, usually I'm changing sets like every six months about. I'm always looking for something different. Um, but for some reason, this set of wheels is really uh, kind of doing it for me. Um, I did, I, in a previous video, I did mention that I was uh, looking at getting some Volks, um, ZE40s to be exact. Uh, but I changed my mind. I wanted to keep these a little bit longer. Um, and because my, my goal here, uh, what I really want to do is I wanted to keep these wheels and get another set as opposed to selling these to get another set. So that way I'm able to um, kind of change it up as I, as I want to and have, you know, different. I'll have a dedicated winter or sorry, dedicated summer set um, that I can put really good summer tires on. And I'll leave these tires on these wheels that I can use for every day. So that way it'll give me some versatility. I can change it up when I want, um, just for a different look and, and for different for performance as well, because it'll have different tires. Um, but I mean, that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I, I'm really happy with how these look. I think they'll look pretty good. Um, the, the color on Lapis Blue uh, I think is absolutely perfect. Black is too dark, kind of hides hides the uh, the design of the wheel. It does look good. I actually had some Ray Graham Light 57 DRs in black on this car, um, and it looks really good. But I got black wheels. You get I get at least for me I get tired really quickly of them because, like I said, it hides the the design of the wheel, and it kind of just looks kind of plain. Um, so something. I, silver is a little too bright for me. Uh, it kind of stands out a little too much just for my taste. I like I like the more aggressive uh, looking wheel and I think gunmetal is just it looks perfect on most cars. Um, <clears throat> but yeah I mean I, I've been really really happy with these wheels. Um, the finish on them has been treating me very well. I keep my car very clean if you haven't noticed from my videos. Um, I wash my car, hand wash, you know I do all the the correct steps to keep it really clean um, and you know they're they really don't I mean they get dirty for sure because sometimes they go for weeks at a time that that I don't get a chance to clean the car um, but you know I've had them for two years now like I said and they've been through crazy storms uh, you know rain snow salt everything you name it uh, it's been through it all and the finish still looks like I did the day I got them um, I have one or two little itty bitty little tiny stone chips on one of the wheels. I think it's actually the uh, driver's side, or sorry, the passenger side. Let me take a look over here. Uh, see if I can find, yeah, there's one right there. Um, and I think that's about it um, on all the wheels. That's just that one. So it might've just been a rock or something that came up and, and chipped it at some point. But either way, like I said, the finish is holding up really well. They clean up well, they look, Every single time I clean them, I'm always surprised how awesome they look. Um, they, they're, it's just a great color, and I think it looks really good on on the blue. Um, 
you know there's haven't had any issues with bending or cracking or or anything like that I've had some big bumps uh, you know driving this car for two and a half years and uh, I've never had any issues um, it's they're just a great set of wheels I highly recommend them they actually have another set of wheels uh, in the RR design which I think is the GTC something like that they actually have two less spokes uh, these have 12 spokes those have 10 I actually wanted to get them but I wasn't sure of the fitment with the brake um, so I ended up going for these uh, I think I just think 12 12 spokes do look good but I think 10 looks a little bit better uh, just because it shows the brakes off a little bit more and it doesn't look as busy um, but for some reason these they just really uh, I think they look good um, you know everybody's different everybody likes different sets of wheels and different styles and everything uh, but the spoke design 10 to 12 spokes is just kind of my my bag if you will uh, it's just my favorite looking type of wheel um, so yeah if you guys have any questions I believe I covered everything uh, in the video going over all the specs and all that um, but if I missed anything or you guys have any specific questions on them uh, you know be sure to let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely answer them for you. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram, it's just my name. It's Chris Vuno, C-H-R-I-S-V-U-O-N-O. -O. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I post, well, all I do is post pictures of my car because, um, yeah, that's all I do. <laughs> uh, so if you guys, like I said, you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below. You take a look at my Instagram. I'll be sure to uh, put my, my Instagram um, in the uh, comments or the description below so you guys can just click on it and find it and you can see tons of pictures of the car uh, of the wheels and all that so you can kind of get a better look as opposed to me just aimlessly walking around the car showing showing the wheels um, but yeah that's about it for the wheels so you know if you guys have any other recommendations for other specific videos uh, let me know I plan on doing um, a video for each of the mod every mod that I've done on the car kind of going over it what I think um, that way I'm kind of pushing out some content for you guys and um, you know I, I can answer all the questions that anybody has on the car uh, but yeah that's it for now I'll catch you guys next time